Servant leadership has always been attractive to me because it helps me learn how to bring out the best in others. It really helps you put people first, and when you do that, you just see these amazing results. So at my work, we have practiced servant leadership since I started there. 18 years ago, we just didn't know it was called that. And so over the years, especially the last few years where I've had the privilege to come to this conference, I've learned tools and been inspired to really bring it to the next level and empower our staff. I would describe servant leadership as leading from your heart, as putting people first, as making sure that the needs of your people and your staff are well known that you communicate with them, that you trust them, that you are able to let them do their jobs and walk away. It's really more of a, a, a learning the skill of empowering more than anything else. The one takeaway that I really got this year is just putting it into practice, that you can start wherever you are. You don't have to worry about what your culture is like or what your family problems are. You can take these skills and you can implement and make little baby steps in wherever you are. It doesn't have to be a kind of a one size fits all. It's if you do little things differently, the culture will change and the engagement will change and your people will respond to that. What motivates me to come back to the Servant Leadership Conference, and this is my third year, is that it is like my annual battery recharge. So, you know, you do this day in and day out, and it's great to just come and hear you're doing a lot of things right. So when I ask questions about, well, what about the fact that my boss doesn't really buy into this, or what, what about this, what about that, it always reminds me of how many things I'm doing well. And so it, it inspires you and it just encourages you to go back out there and keep doing it. I'm Betty Lochner. I'm the director of Washington 529 College Savings Plans.